Hello, my name is Shristi and welcome back to my 30 day meme stack challenge where my challenge is to post a video about the meme stack every day for 30 days. So where we left off in the previous video, we had uh, been working on this page for app makers. So we're gonna, we'll be working on their homepage and we'd gone through and spent a little bit of time uh, writing up all the HTML code that we needed uh, to actually uh, get this particular home page together using Bootstrap. Now, at the moment, we're sitting on roughly around 125 lines of code just for this uh, HTML page. And I say roughly because there are sort of a few spaces in between just to make it easy to see. So we'll say around 125 lines. Now, I want to introduce you to a couple of my favorite Angular directives and see if we can use them to simplify these 125 lines of code um, down to, I don't know, maybe half. Let's see if we can aim for half of that. Now, if you're brand new to Angular and you, ha you haven't really uh, done much work with Angular before, the best place to start is with the AngularJS website. So when you go to the website, which is just um, angularjs.org, you go along to develop, you see a whole set of uh, different developer related uh, documentation on this site. And we'll start off with uh, ng repeat. So what is ng repeat? Now the simplest way to describe it is kind of think of it uh, as a loop, right? So ng repeat loops through uh, each item in a collection of items. Okay, so that's ng repeat. Now if we want to use that, we we need to create a collection of items and we will do that in, a, in just a second. Um, the other thing that I want to introduce you to is another one of my favorite directives. ng class is a great way to write classes based on the data that we're looping through when we're going through ng repeat. Um, so ng class is really just, uh, it, it kind of makes your classes a little bit more dynamic um, and it can be really, really useful as you're, you're working with Angular. So where do we want to start? Well, we know when we were writing all our HTML, we have a whole heap of data elements. So for example, we've got things like um, the icon that we want to use, so the glyphicon that we're actually pointing to. Um, we've got things like the sort of the total number for that particular section. Um, and we've got things like the description uh, or the text that goes with that particular section. And um, we've also got the color. Now, in order to put this into a collection, the easiest and quickest way to do that is we've already got this controller that's associated to this page. So at the very top, we've got this data ng controller and the controller points to this thing called home controller. So what is that and what's this controller thing all about? Now, controller lets us define a scope and the scope that we've got here is pretty much between these two section tags. So between these two section tags, if we want to include some Angular, Angular related data, we use the home controller to do that. So that's really, 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 really basic. Um, but but you know, bear with me and, and we'll see how this all works. So if we go and find home controller, the place to find that is in, um, in public modules, we're in the core module. Within that, we just go to the controllers folder um, and we're looking at the home client controller.js file. So here is that file, I've just opened it up here. Um, and we can see that the name of this controller is home controller. So what I'm gonna do is actually push in some data as part of this controller that I wanna then get access to um, in the home.client.view.html file. Uh, so I can do that really, really easily. I'm, I'm gonna just, create a scope and I'll call it alerts, alerts. And in this, I'm going to create an array. Now, if you haven't created an array before, just bear with me, but array allows us to include multiple sets of data within one collection, if you like. So alerts is our collection of data and we'll go through and identify what each 
item each data item looks like so for example we'll have things like um, icon and we'll have maybe color for our button and we'll have a total because we'll have a total amount that we want to include and we'll have a description okay so if we were then um, going to populate these things for the first item so if I just go back to our wireframe there you go so you can see that for the first item we we want to use a uh, glyphicon user which is that glyph there we wanted to give it a color so we'll call that button success because it's green uh, we'll give we'll put in the total so the total amount is 20,408 and we'll put in the description which is total customers so we can set up each alert in our alerts collection in a similar way now for this last item we've got icon is with icon flag color is button danger total is 348 and description is referrals to moderate all right, so now we've got our list of alerts. So these, the, the data in this collection relates to all the data items that we're looking at on our wireframe. So how do we then get this data into a page like this? Well, the way to do that is let's jump back to our home client view. And what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to get a bit of an introduction to ng repeat. So I'm going to plug in ng, ng repeat. And what I want to do is repeat each alert item in the alert scope. So I want alert in alerts. Okay. And I'm also going to, I don't want all of them to be success. So I'm going to then introduce ng class. And I'm going to say here the ng class, I want you to have alert.color. And I'm going to get rid of the specific glyph here. And I'm going to say I want you to have the ng class of alert.icon. And down here where I've got my h1 tag, I'm going to put in double uh, brackets this time alert dot total and for the description again in the two mustache brackets alert dot description okay so I've now got the the code here which will repeat or loop through each item in the alerts collection which was this collection here this array here and for each item when it gets to the button to define the color of the button it's going to pick up alert.color so that's um, alert.color it's going to pick up the icon which is the icon it's going to pick up the total and the description so that completes our four items and the ng repeat will go through each line item one at a time 
So let's see that in action. So what we would expect to see now is because we've added this in at the top, we'd expect basically our data, which is similar to our wireframe, to appear twice. So let's have a quick look at that. So I'll save this file. And we'll see now that our data appears exactly as it previously was. It's appearing here twice. So what I can do is now remove all of this code. So that gets us down to roughly 25 lines. So we've removed um, 100 lines of code uh, from this, this page alone. Um, and we've introduced uh, roughly 30 lines um, of code over here. Um, so you know that's that's definitely um, less than half of the of the code that we were looking at from before. That I have a bit of an alignment to the left. I'm going to just look at changing this out by moving the code a little bit more to the right, and I can do that quite easily by just changing this from uh, two. I'll just push that to four and change that to eight, um, and do the same over here. So I'll make that eight and I'll make that four. And that will just uh, reshuffle our alignment a little bit to give us a bit of a cleaner look. Uh, but we see that now our icons are a little bit distanced away from our text. And there's a quick way to fix that uh, by just adding in a, uh, a class over here to uh, pull right. And that would just move the icons slightly closer to the text. All right, so well done. If you've made it this far, we've managed to uh, reduce our code by half. Um, and we've also had a bit of a look at the Angular magic and started to use a couple of Angular directives. Um, the two that we used today were ng-repeat and ng-class. Thanks for joining me. You know, subscribe to the channel. Check out bossable.com for more details. Thanks again.